Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to load in and run a simulation problem file and show you how to view the output. I'm using Linux here, but once you've loaded UMP, the steps you need to follow should be identical. So like I say, I'm using Linux, so uh, I need to first of all go to the uh, UMP folder that I installed it to previously. So I'll go there, and I'm going to right click on it and just open in terminal. Uh, and then while I'm here, I just need to type tcl sh umph dot tcl. And there we go, that's loaded up umph. So I just need to click through these checkboxes. And we're le le left with this mm launch main uh, umph window. So the first thing. Um, we need to do is load up uh, this option oxy which is actually the um, 3d micromagnetic solver so we'll click on that first of all and again we just need to add this checkbox again and that loads up this window uh, so what I'm going to do is load up uh, one of the standard umph example files um, which you should all well when you download umph you have those examples available to you uh, so to do that we just need to go on oxy file load click on uh, well here it's loaded up in the uh, in, a, in my umph folder so from there I just need to go to app and then scroll down to OXS because that's the um, 3d solver that we want to be using and then go on to examples and here you'll find this is useful to know anyway here you'll find examples for probably most of the different umph uh, functions and uh, options that you might want to use so if you're stuck or you, there's something that you want to simulate in particular it might be worth looking through these different example files because they can be very useful but for now I'm just going to find this one here for that is a simulation of an exchange spring and uh, I'll just click on that one and then just go to OK and that's loaded up the the problem file into the solver um, and once that's loaded in, um, it's essentially just ready for us to run it. But before we do that, there's a couple of things that it's useful to do first uh, so that we can actually monitor the output of the uh, simulation as it runs. So first of all, um, we want to capture the scalar output. So that includes the energies, um, the uh, magnetization values, uh, and and similar. So we want to capture those uh, scalar values as it's running. So we'll go back to MM Launch and uh, click MM Graph, and that will lo load up this graph output um, option. Okay. And now with that uh, output destination available to us, we go back to Oxy and uh, we click Data Table, and that's what uh, Umph uses to store all of the vector outputs. And now we've got this uh, destination uh, MM graph available to us. And don't worry too much about the number that comes after it, uh, and particularly if, it, if it's different to the one that I have. Umph just gives each uh, window a number to help you keep track of which uh, window is which. So for now, let's not worry too much about that. And we'll click that as a destination. And that again opens up these possible options here for how frequently we want that output to uh, go to the uh, graph output destination. So for now what we'll do is we'll click on step so we want it to happen uh, at the moment it's every one step but we'll make that slightly less frequent and we'll change that to 10. So every 10 iterations um, is what a step is. Every 10 iterations of the simulation the output will be sent to the graph. So it's red at the moment but now if we just hit enter then that um, sets that value so now our um, scalar outputs are set up um, but we not just the scalar outputs we can look at we, it's also possible to look at the the vector output as we go along so again we'll go back to mm launch go to that window and we'll click mm disp uh, which is a viewer for the vector outputs so this one uh, again loads up automatically i'll just move that down there and uh, again we go back to the oxy window and this time in the output um, selector where well, there's various different um, values we could 
uh, view here. But what I'm going to do is I'll select the uh, OXS time driver uh, magnetization output, uh, and that again has um, enabled this MM disp destination. So we'll click on that, and once again, there's this option for how frequently we want to send it. Uh, and okay, let's just we'll go for step, and we'll set that to every five. Again, hitting enter to um, to set that option. So now we've uh, set up the um, the the settings for the outputs. We're essentially ready to um, run. So we can go back to the Oxy uh, window where we've already loaded up the Exchange Bring example, and we just hit run. And you see straight away there's something going on in the uh, vector output window. But you notice that actually the graph window isn't showing anything. Uh, happening. And the reason for this is because there's the data table sends um, a whole range of different uh, values that we can plot and we actually need to select which ones we want to view. So what we can do is we go to the MM graph window uh, and select the X select the X axis um, and what we'll do is, well a fairly sensible thing I think to plot is the um, is the iteration so we can just see how values are evolving um, with each iteration um, and then uh, we've got the option to plot various y values so we'll, I think another good one to look at is MX uh, and we can see immediately that so with um, with each iteration the X component of the magnetization is changing um, and there's also uh, a second y value or second y axis that we can use um, so let's see what's happening um, well look at the Zeeman energy so we'll click on that I was just having a think at the moment okay there we go so um, okay yeah so there's also something else going on there so what um, so yeah what you can do now that you've got those outputs going to uh, this to the graph and the um, the vector disk viewer um, yeah, you can really just have a play around and see what kind of outputs you can you can uh, see there. So within MM Graph, that you see there's all all these different um, options available to you, and you can turn these ones on and off. Um, and likewise, in Oxy, as the simulation's running, which it still is, as you can see here, and in the graph, um, there's all these different outputs, and you can select those, and you can make multiple uh, graph windows from MM Launch. Um, and multiple disk windows from MM Launch as well. So I'm going to leave this video there. Hopefully that gives you uh, some idea of how to find the examples uh, available for Oomph, uh, how to load them up, and then how to have a look at um, the plots as they come out. Uh, and hopefully in a future video I'll show you how to save these um, different outputs and also set it up so that rather than having to manually specify um, the output destinations we can uh, set those in the problem files themselves so thanks for watching um, and please like this video if you found it useful